Hey, welcome back. Last week, well, the past couple of weeks, it, it just feel like it takes some time to get into this. But I think I did, I don't know, I was watching some of the ones I did, like the third and the fourth episode I did during the week, and it was better, so. But I think it is a good idea to save important notes for maybe later when I am ready to talk about them. The first two episodes I did last week or two weeks ago, I didn't like them. I guess that's all I want out of this is to just watch the videos back and be like, oh, I like listening to myself. <laughs> I think I can, I did kind of play this a little bit by myself. I don't know why. <laughs> But I explored this area a little bit, but not too much. Um, but it looks like there's places to go, so I shouldn't get lost. Where am I? Ah. I've seen that bubble before. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm going to say this after I said I shouldn't talk about anything important, but um, today I was going to talk about, well, I was watching this, this ASMR person, and she was talking about how she had terrible parents growing up, and she had to, did I say girl? Well, she, she was like 30 or something. <laughs> um, it's older than me. She had to estrange from them. I know how to get that, but I don't have it yet. There's a little thing up here. Okay. So I don't I don't think I've ever said anything bad about my parents, but I wanted to any opportunity I get to say good stuff. <laughs> because I really did have the best possible parents I could have had. Just listening to this girl, it's like, yeah, your parents are people. They can make mistakes, but my parents, <laughs> they didn't make mistakes. <laughs> I think it was a problem with, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going <laughs> to. From what the girl was saying, you could tell the parents tended, they didn't like each other, and that's kind of a problem. So like, the kid gets in the middle of that. So I didn't have that problem. My parents seem to like each other, so that's good. But yeah, obviously, I mean, people get like abused and stuff, and even just emotionally, that never happened to me. So I was gonna say what? My parents are actual saints. <laughs> I feel bad if I ever said anything bad, which I don't think I have. Um, but maybe I might have said something. I don't know. I'm just imagining, like if I had said anything like that girl said, and I'd be like, no, that's totally wrong, don't say that. But I don't know if I have, I don't think I have. <laughs> Uh, I can go over here. Nope, I can't reach it. Anything bad about my life has nothing to do with them, and everything good has everything to do with them. That's the note. That's the truth, I feel like. I definitely wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. I'd have no reason to be here. Anything that keeps me here is, is them. Like anything good that I like about myself or I don't know. I feel like I'm just retreading stuff, whatever. I'll get over here. Uh I do want to play this in my free time and just get a bunch of energy tanks so I don't have to be good at this game. <laughs> I can just wander around and talk. 
over it. You can shoot these little nuts. <laughs> I guess that was it. I just want to... I don't know. I'm worried that like one day I'll say something bad about them and then I just want to have a like a Chiron thing or like a ticker at the bottom. It's just like my parents are good. If I say anything bad, I don't mean it. <laughs> Look at these guys. I gotta scan them. Ah. You gotta hit their tails. This back shell is vulnerable. Ah. Ah. Jump. Jump. Come at me. Ooh. <laughs> This is fun. I like these little guys. They're like really intimidating, but they don't have any arms. <laughs> oh. Eh. Okay. You can't. Why? Are you... <laughs> What's my next note gonna be? I had another note I was gonna talk about. What do I do? Just die. Night of missiles. Okay. You can get two missile shots on him and then he'll spin around like this. Uh. No. I'm wasting them. Ah. Nope. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Uh oh. I haven't had too many terrible setbacks where I'm like, get away from the wall. Okay. I die somewhere and I have to like, I did have that one where I got stuck in that build, that room. But that was it. I don't want to do anything too crazy today. Um, I went to the doctor. I f I don't know I don't know what to make of this note, but like I guess like that I'm perceptive. I knew <laughs> my old doctor. He measured me. And he said it, he said I was six feet tall, but for some reason I knew he was he wasn't telling the truth. I knew I was five eleven, <laughs> and I went to the doctor recently, and and um, the nurse was like, "Do you want to get measured?" And I was like, "Sure." She said, "Do you think do you know how tall you are?" I was like, "Yeah, I think I'm like five eleven. She measured me, and I was five eleven, and then I measured myself. I'm like, yes, I'm clearly 5'11". I don't know what he was... I stood up as tall as I could, and I took a pencil, and I marked the tip of my hair, and I was like at least a half an inch short of six feet. I don't know what to make of that, but he was lying to me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, I could tell he was just trying to make me feel better or something. And, uh, even though I never had measured it myself. I don't know. I guess I was just feeling good, like, oh, I knew it. I think even on my driver's license, it asked me how tall I was, at, and it was like 5'11". I've always been self-conscious about that. I don't know why. I feel like people could tell that I was lying. When people ask me, like, how tall are you? And I'm like, six feet. I'm like, no, yeah, but it's not true. So now I can just say 5'11", and I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> There's something suspicious about someone who says they're six feet tall, because, I don't know. There's a big difference between six feet and 5'11", <laughs> I guess.
I guess that was the thing that I cared about was just lying. Like, I felt like I was lying to people when they asked me. But I'm like, you know, the doctor said, so... But now I don't have to lie to people. Okay, so when you turn it in here, it turns it out there. Oh, so I'm going to go out and get that... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. I could just turn it one more time. I'm a genius. Wait, why won't it let me do it? What? Ah. Why can't I turn it on? I want to... I get it turned out of the power somewhere. Oh, what's that? I do have this, the nurse there was like really nice and talkative and, and she was like, I don't know. I, I do wonder how, how do people act like that all the time? Whenever that happens, like sometimes I'll go to a, a restaurant when that was a thing that people did, but um, and then the waiter's like really nice and they're being like, oh, this is the thing that we're eating today and it's like on the menu and it's, how do they do that every day with every person? I can't even do that with one person. Oh, oh, am I back? And I don't know what to do, but that's something. So, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> Nobody's watching. Um, I mean, the, the geek anxiety guy might be watching. Thanks, if you're watching. You're probably the only one. If you... You sometimes make it to the end of the episodes. Most of the people who... Who used to watch? They didn't. Uh oh, ah. what? Or my? I don't have a lot of missiles left. Nah, don't waste them. Nah, I'm wasting them. Ooh, I don't like this. Eh? Yeah. I have nowhere to go. Don't do this to me. Okay, get you. That didn't seem like it didn't hurt him. Ah. Oh no. What's happening? I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm just gonna end there. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I don't die. These guys are hard. Uh, so, whatever. I don't know. Yeah. We'll keep doing it. I think, I think I'm at, what, like 700 episodes of this? Almost at two years. Not really. I still got like three more months to go before it's my two-year anniversary. And I've only missed, I think, one week out of those two years, which was last January when I was... I went on vacation and then I was sick afterwards. So I missed a week. I almost stopped doing it then, too, because... I remember being depressed about, like, I gotta go back to work, and I don't want to do this stupid thing, and nobody's watching it, what am I doing it? But, I don't know, I guess I'm supposed to say something hopeful now, but whatever, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> See you tomorrow.